Hello everyone! Yes, welcome back to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk. You know it, yes! I think we're at walk 662. Time flies having fun. And um, it's a beautiful summer day here. We're looking at Rotningatan, the main shopping street here in downtown Stockholm. Like usually when we refer to downtown Stockholm, we say Stockholm city or downtown, but um, it's actually Norrmalm we are in. Um, like a lot of people say a lot of times Södermalm, but you know, you can say like the brother of Södermalm is like Norrmalm, but although that's not something people say a lot, usually when you're referring to this area, you say city center basically so where are we going today to be honest I haven't really <laughs> figured it out yet where we're we going I'm just going for a stroll maybe I'm gonna walk a little bit towards maybe us the mom yes we got the fountain in front of us the big roundabout here oh we got the sightseeing bus so midsummer is coming up and midsummer is usually the start of this of the tourist season right um you already see a few tourists here and there but the real big bunch of tourists starts when you know the whole of europe starts their summer holidays these are the last weeks of school all around europe so yeah the real two months of summer when all the tourists are traveling the families with the kids yeah this kind of starts in the next weeks it's not that often that the fountain is actually on so it's nice i don't really see it that often uh, maybe i should walk over segel galtan i don't do that too often so kind of segel galtan is the street parallel to drottning galtan which is the main street it's a little bit more quiet um, so yeah, if you want to chill a little bit more, but still have that downtown feeling, this could be nice. As I've mentioned before, it's not really the, you know, the most beautiful street, but yeah. have quite a few, few good restaurants here. I don't know, for the people from around here, they know there used to be um, like a McDonald's here. Now there's an Italian cousin's restaurant where I've never been. So if anyone knows this restaurant, let me know if it's any good or not. By the way, thanks for the feedback on the Slusen video. Got a lot of good feedback on it. And also actually has quite a bit of uh, good views. So thanks for that. It was really nice to have the Vattentoriet open finally after all those years of waiting. Oh, what's this? The museum. Hmm. I think this is like a temporary wall. It's really nice. Some graffiti. Cool. This is actually quite nice. This bridge here. Um, you can walk and cross. They did uh, a lot of rebuilding in this street. A lot of the shops on actually on either sides, but especially on this side here. Um, it was like a construction site for a while, but now it looks much better. And they even installed these, yeah, I guess you can call it art. It's art, I guess. Looks nice in different colors and they're just trying to make this street a bit more pleasant. And I must say, it's starting to look better. Yes. Tabuli Street, one of my favorite places in this area. If you like Thai food, there's a Thai uh, little little um, little street food place up there down the road as well. So here we've got the biggest cinema here downtown. Here on the corner, you see the big F. Um, there's actually a few other cinemas in this area as well, more on Kungsgatan to the right. 
And now we're closing in on Haymarket, which means Hötorget in Swedish. And that literally means Haymarket. Um, two types of markets here usually. On the weekdays you have fruits and veggies and even sell some, some travel bags here now in the summer. I guess it's like tourist adept. Um, oh yeah, by the way, Thai places over here. Yeah. Um, this is the concert hall here. We have a lot of classical music, things like this. And um, yeah, and on the weekends we have the flea market here. But that's only on the Sunday, so yeah, go and check it out. It's a really nice one actually. If you really want to get that more local atmosphere, come back here on a Sunday. <coughs> There's not so many tourists in that way. It's a lot of Swedish people buying a lot of stuff they don't need. <laughs> here we've got the berries. If you want to save some money, quick tip. Come here around 5 or 6 in the afternoon, just before they close down. Because we're talking fresh products here, and the fresh products, um, you know, go bad. They can't really take them home with them. So if you come here late in the afternoon, you can do amazing deals at these fruit and veggie stalls. Literally, the price can go down sometimes 70%, really. So blueberries, for example, quite expensive, right? Fresh, fresh products, blueberries are picked by hand, so they're quite expensive. Um, but yeah, later on the day, get better deals. So don't buy your fruit at 10 a.m. Just a Daniel tip of the day. All right, so you know what? I'm gonna go straight ahead a little bit over here. I'm gonna go back here on Drottninggatan, but, but more the other side of Drottninggatan. I don't really go there too often. And then I'm gonna go around the block, kind of, yeah, we'll see, we'll see where we go. You know how I roll. I just go all over the place. So, Jet Gang, what's up? Let me know, any plans for Stockholm this year? Because you're watching these videos for a reason. So let me know. Either you've been here, you haven't been here, maybe you're planning. Let me know. I'm going to the north of Sweden after midsummer on Saturday. And um, yeah, this time I will bring my camera. Because when I went to the Netherlands last week, I forgot to pack my camera, which is really stupid. But now I'm going to the north of Sweden on holidays. Um, you know, it won't be like everyday video because I'm with the kids and it's a bit tricky. But um, yeah, I'll squeeze in a little walk to capture that real Norland vibe. Um, yeah, let's go this way here. Queen Street, Drottninggatan. Biggest in Sweden on freeze-dried candy. It doesn't sound too good, does it? Freeze dried candy. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it says hello Drottninggatan on the sign. That was funny. A little bit more straight ahead. I still see already quite a few tourists. I guess in Gamla Stan it's already bananas, but that's because every tourist goes to Gamla Stan. Like you can't visit Stockholm without going to the old town, right? Well, at least that's the general opinion. I don't think that's necessarily what I think. I mean, it's fun, but it's not the best place in Stockholm, I would say. Right, so let's take a ride. This is Olof Palmer's Gata, yes. Olof Palmer. I guess we all know what happened to him.
I'm actually on the wrong side of the street. I should have walked over there. I have a bit what they call in Swedish mat koma. I've ate I've <laughs> I ate too much lunch and I would just feel like sleeping. So I guess it's good that I'm on a walk. Because otherwise I would be just on the couch. Like half passing out. Alright, let's um yeah, let's go to the other side of the street, am I? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. You know what? What's this? Hollendergatan. I've never walked in this street, and not at least from this side, I believe. All right, this, this is already not how I planned it. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, no, I have walked here. Because I remember... Who was it that commented on the Filipinian Asia market? One of my Filipino viewers. What's his name again? Um, anyway, some of you commented on that place. I remember that. But then I think I walked out on this street from the other side, so an opposite direction. Yeah, straight away. No one here. <laughs> Very peaceful. So I think if I go on straight here, I walk more towards op obs Observatory London um, like at Rodmansgatan Odenplan area so probably we got the church here on the right yes correct So maybe it's fun if I cross the street and go over there. So for your reference, okay, just so you know where we are, right? If you go that way, behind the church, Vasastan. Behind off, behind us, the area central station, Norman. If you go more forward and to the right, it's more Ostermalm. So yeah, if that makes any sense. Lars Winnebeck, if you really want to hear some good Swedish music, look for this on Spotify. This is really a great Swedish artist, Lars Winnebeck. He's been going on. He's been at it for like, I don't know, probably 30 years, I don't know. There's a lot of good songs. I guess for most of them it's, it's better because it's all about the lyrics, right? I don't think it's per se that he's an, an excellent singer, as in, you know, he's not Whitney Houston, if you know what I mean, but the lyrics are very deep and good and catchy. So yeah, Lars Winnebeck I really recommend. Asahi fondue and grill. Mandarin city. Oh, it smells like soya here. Got two Asian places next to each other. Mm. Soy. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with soy. I don't know if you've ever... Um, 
cooked a lot with soy, but um, it can be nice if you subtly you subtle a little bit, right? But if you too too much, it uh, it's quite disgusting actually. If you know what I mean, but yeah, it's like that with a lot of ingredients. It's like same with garlic, right? A little bit garlic, sure. <laughs> I love garlic, but not when it's too much. And the people next to you on the bus will agree as well. For once, I'm not crossing the street on the red light. A nice little stroll see there's a lot of these rolling suitcases that's always a good sign of tourists being around that's why I love just going in the winter or on a very rainy wet cold November day to the old town when there's literally no tourists in sight anywhere then just it feels like a regular sleepy neighborhood you know when you go to Italy and you have those small villages and there's just a few old guys sitting underneath an olive tree or whatever you know it's like drinking a coffee that kind of feeling you can get a Gamlastan as well when you go when there's no tourist it feels really cozy and yeah it's nice all right I can cross here that's actually quite nice Ooh, perfect. But this is Kung's Gotham, King Street. You know how it is when there's Queen Street, the King Street can never be far away. Got the other entrance of her toilet. Her toilet actually has quite a few entrances. It's like it's one, two, three. It's probably about four. Well, the one with the most that's still Central Station because that one has probably about ten. But that's also because it consists of, you know, like several buildings and different floors and you can go out and in on different floors, trains, metros, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, this never gets old, this. It looks really nice. Look at these towers here. Dusty here, the building. I don't know why, but the camera stopped filming for a while. I hope it wasn't too long. Don't think so. Sorry about that. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, it's a bit dusty here because they're uh, redoing the street there in the middle. I think it's almost see actually by the way this is the other um, 
cinema I was talking about. There's a few others in this in the area. I love going to the cinema. So relaxing. And somehow you're more focused. You know when you're watching a movie at home, anything can happen, the phone can go, you know, family, friends, you know, there's a lot of distractions. But when you're in the cinema, it's just the movie, big screen, great surround system, it's nice. I like that blue, it's cool. Wow. Wait, let's go up here. Oh, it definitely smells like pee here, I can tell you that. Someone just peed here. Oh, nice. Now oh, I know where I am. Cool. We got the good overview here of the street. Oh, see, that's why it was dusty. kind of it for today walk 662 here from Stockholm I hope you enjoyed it chat gang thank you for watching and in general you know always for the support you guys are awesome if you're still watching don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe while you're at it and thank you and see you on the next one